Hey guys, it's me Mel. I am going to show you today how to get this hairstyle in just a few minutes every morning. And if you want to check us out, I'd love for you to keep looking at our blog and our YouTube. We have so much for professional women. Um, it is polished-professionals.com. You can find us on Instagram at polished underscore professionals as well. We hope you join our community of professional women who conquer the workaday world with style and poise each day. Hey everybody, so you're getting me with, ah, hair not done. But I had some questions yesterday on how I did the knot that I wear in the back of my hair. And so I just was gonna do a quick video of this is my literally two minutes, get your hair done. Of course this video will be longer than two minutes because I'm explaining it, but once you get a hang of it, you'll be so quick at this. So this is dirty hair. I think this, this hairdo works best with dirty hair. Um, and if your hair isn't super dirty or textured, you can just use a dry shampoo. This is kind of my go-to. This is dry bar, just to throw in there, just to give it a little bit more texture. My hair is very thin, um, just so you kind of know what kind of hair I'm working with. Not washed, this is day two hair. Um, I do have bangs, so when I add in this texture, it helps me pull them back. Um, and overall, and just brush, brush through the dry shampoo. And then I like to have a a, a teasing brush available too but this is really the trick is these guys these are called spin pins I think you can get four or six of these um, for under ten dollars or so ten to twelve dollars but I love them they come in brown and they come in uh, blonde and they come in black so depending on your hair color you can pick the color that works for you so typically I don't worry about the front first I just do the back um, where I pull it into a low ponytail gosh I hope I'm showing you this right and then I twist my ponytail like that, just twist it, and then I roll it around and tuck in the end in the back. Now nothing, nothing is holding this guy in yet. So that's where these spin pins come in. So that's here, put that there, and you just roll it in. And it twists just like a screw. So I only, I only need two for my hair because my hair is not that thick, but then I stick it in another part of the bun and spin it in. If my hair is kind of going crazy, like if there's a ton of things like this, I'll get a bobby pin and I'll stick it down or I'll come back out and I'll try to do one more spin and catch that guy. So like this guy is getting a little crazy, I can feel it. And so I wish you guys could talk back to me. Anyway, I'll stick that on top and then hopefully get it in. I think that got it pretty well. So that's just two spin pins. I do them at an X in the back, and that's how you get this look really, really easy. Of course, if you need more, you can get more. I think the only, the last thing that I do is, because I do have bangs, but also just because I wanna lift my profile a little bit, I'll take um, a teasing brush like this, you can use a teasing comb, just to give this a little bit of lift on the top and um, take it back. So that is really it, and also that means I don't have to fix my bangs, which is like a win. So let me pull this back for you guys. And I do like this teasing brush. This is actually a dry bar teasing brush. Um, so there's a reason they're the dry bar and their brushes are pretty good. I actually, this is not sponsored by dry bar, but I also use Moneymaker. So there you go, that's my hairspray. It's a little bit of a lighter weight hold, but I do like to give myself a little bit of a lift in the profile. And then this is a bonus um, tip after this because my roots are starting to show. I'll show you what I do for my roots to cover them up. But this is a great profile. So for a great um, trick is if your roots are showing like mine um, right now. Um, so I do, I do spray the back just a little bit. But anyway, it's easy. This is high. You can, this, the reason I really like this hairspray is you can kind of move your... Um, your hair around for a while while it's drying just to get it kind of in the place that you want it and then you can give it one more spray so just to kind of even out the top of my hair get that done ah, I told you this is two minutes but explaining it does take a little bit longer so there um, is kind of what I wanted so just a little bit of a poof on the top to give it a little bit of a higher profile like I said spray the back get those little hairs up Last tip, which you didn't ask for, but I'm gonna show you anyway if you've got roots. So, two things I use. Sorry, I wasn't planning to do this. So, forgive me. Okay. Here is, I use a, I have like probably every root concealer out there. But this is Color Wow. I think it's okay. Um, this is Rita Hansen. 
This one's more for gray coverage. I don't think I have gray, but I told my hairdresser to lie to me basically for the rest of my life. We've been together over 20 years and I said, don't tell me when I'm going gray. So, cause I'm not looking, but this is a root cover up and it's blonde by Rita Hazen. Sometimes on this one, I feel like it's a little stickier um, than this. So I like this better, these kinds of powders better. This is wow. And wow is really like an eyeshadow for your hair. You can also, by the way, use eyeshadow, um, use like a light, gold or silver eyeshadow but i take this and i stick it on places like right at the roots so that you guys don't see my roots every day so that's all it is it just kind of helps cover up a little bit of root activity that is going on and this hairstyle in particular is easy to get away with that because well because you only have to cover like right there. I don't forget though, to sometimes come in these little black areas cause you did, I know you guys could see it probably better than I could when I turned around, but you can, you may wanna catch those little bitty roots there. But this also, the other trick of this is that it helps give you a full hairline. So if some of you guys are really thinning on that part of your hair, it will give you a fuller um, looking hairline, which is really kind of nice if you're um, trying to go for that, just to complete an updo look. So this is true of any updo, like just filling this in, even if it's not for a root concealer, it's great to get um, your hair done. So basically that is it. And that has been of course longer than a few minutes, but it's still working on the top of this hair Let me. Do a little tease that's how i tease the top just to get it up there my mom actually taught me that she was a child of like the 60s when they used to do beehive hair which i guess this is some version of a beehive but but also the other reason i try to do one more pass through after i do a color is just to make that color um look natural or more natural so that i just don't have a break in the color right there at all Sorry, I got a knot in my hair. That's what you get for doing dirty hair, right? But to me, this is just like an easy day two hair and it looks professional enough for work and it looks like you kind of put yourself together. So that's my, that's my yes. And I'll do one more spray on top. So, okay, six minutes, but there we go. Done. You guys have a great day. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is the back one more time. Woo, thanks for watching.